So this is Verdun 1916 Steel Inferno. I'm going to be doing a solo playthrough of the short introductory scenario. Um, I think I've now absorbed the rules um, and I'm going to give it a go. Uh, we've got obviously the Germans along this uh, bottom edge of the map heavily outnumbering the French who face them and likely to spend most of the game on the offensive. Uh, it's a short two-term scenario instead of the normal six turns. This is the long, the full game would last six. We've got two turns. Uh, turn one comprises just one month February and then turn two March and April. So only three months of action. It's likely to see the Germans pushing for the key sort of uh, strategic objectives in this area we have Verdun down at the bottom. Uh, not sure whether it's possible to get that far in um, two turns. I mean, maybe it is, but uh, we'll see whether I get anywhere close to that. But otherwise, the Germans win by reaching 20 points. Now, how are they going to do that? Predominantly by capturing, for a start, the uh, geographically important areas. These red squares indicate forts. For every two forts that the Germans capture or hold rather at the end of a turn, uh, they gain a point. And then the Germans are also going for these locations marked by a black circle. Each of these is worth one point for the Germans. Um, the French uh, win points at the end of a turn if they cap uh, are in control of zones with these blue circles. You can see along the bottom edge, I can't imagine the French will get to these. These are worth two. Um, but here, Fort Dormont for the French is worth three points. I don't think you can see the number. The Germans get one point for holding or capturing uh, this zone with the fort in it. If the French can hold on to that and are holding on to that at the end of a turn, they gain three points. Uh, worth noting that in this scenario, at the end of turn two, all of these points for geographic locations are doubled. So. If at the end of turn two, the French are holding still onto Fort de Duermont, they are gain six points and the Germans would score one. Uh, for each pair of forts, the Germans would score not just one point, but two points um, at the end of turn two. Uh, the other way of scoring points is by uh, inflicting such losses on your opponent that they are forced to call additional troops up to the front uh, into the en route box. Um, various en route boxes. So for every unit you call up to the en route box, you lose a victory point. So clearly uh, one of the aims is to force uh, your opponent through losses to uh, call those extra troops up. Anyway, I'm going to give it a go. Uh, I'm sure there will be uh, countless, uh, certainly strategic and tactical errors, uh, hopefully not too many rules errors. And uh, Let's see how this progresses. So let's go with turn one, um, round one. Uh, we begin by checking supply. Uh, so long as you can trace a route unencumbered uh, back to your uh, edge of the map, uh, then you're in supply. So we don't need to worry about it to begin with. Uh, now, the options are to pass. You can discard two cards from your hand to pick one up from your deck. We'll sort of work the rifle through your deck to find the uh, a card you want. That's possible, uh, useful um, if you don't draw the cards you want. We can barrage, play one card for a barrage. Uh, we can play two cards for a barrage. Now, for the Germans who start uh, unusually uh, in turn one with ten cards in their hand rather than the normal eight, uh, that's quite a tempting option because there are still just uh, seven rounds in each turn so uh, <clears throat> we've got a bit of room there to play two cards um, as the Germans. Uh, you can play two cards, one in uh, each of two different zones or you can play two cards against a single zone with uh, an attempt to sort of bring overwhelming force against that one zone. Uh, in that instance your opponents can counter-attack with a barrage card of their own to uh, subtract from your score. 
or your or your or your, or your total of uh, uh, barrage points, um, or we can play a card for uh, its event. Um, so, um, or of course we can uh, play a card for its action points. Um, now, the German hand that I have drawn randomly is quite extraordinary. <laughs> I mean, the cards were well shuffled. Um, I begin, as do the Germans, with one event card um, in hand, which was this Chaos à l'arrière, Chaos in, in the rear, I suppose, um, which has an effect on the French movement costs. But every other single card I drew, nine other cards, quite extraordinarily, every single one of them was a barrage card. Um, I, I mean, that's, that's almost freakish. Um, but there we are. So um, I can use those barrage cards as uh, for their, you know, for their barrage value, or I, they, they do have um, action points on them. But I'm going to begin uh, by playing a double barrage. So I'm going to play two barrage cards. I'm going to play a eight barrage and a six barrage card and I'm going to play them as an assault so I'm going to um, move my troops forward at the same time. Now I'm wondering where the best way of going forward is obviously I'm looking to uh, push obviously for Fort de Douaumont with its three points for the French and one point for me I don't want the French to be holding on to that if I can avoid that at the end of turn one. Um, uh, and what you'll notice is that these these uh, white triangles represent hills uh, and they provide um, the defender there with um, a, an extra hit when you come to the sort of a, um, assault uh, stage of an attack. Um, so I'm kind of tempted perhaps initially just to make a early big push is to come down this flank here where there are no hills and perhaps begin to try and uh, circle in on Douaumont um, and begin to squeeze the French from the side. So that's what I'm going to do. I could of course come down through the middle and create those pinch point, uh, a punch through in the middle there. Um, but I'm going to I don't know. It does seem that. See, this is one, two, three, four before we get to any. If I come in this direction, we are going to hit some hills. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three before we get into Dormo. I want to go by the shortest route and, if possible, avoid giving any advantage. One. Two, three, four, one, two, three. I'm just working out the quickest route to Douaumont. Yes, I'm going to come down the side. Who knows? It might be completely the wrong thing to do, but I'm going to go for it. So, two attacks, and I declare if I want to move my troops in, assault to begin with. So, uh, I can't sort of do a barrage and then decide to assault with, with sort of ground troops. So, I am going to assault. I'm going to assault from here. I'm going to send three guys in here. And I'm going to assault from... Uh, Colt 310, 310, and they're going to come in to the map is upside down, so I can't quite see the French. Uh, so kind of come in here now, it leaves this a little bit exposed. I'd be surprised if the French tried to push through and uh, make a dash for the victory points here. You never know, we'll wait and see. So let's begin by, I'm going to spend the eight on the outside no, actually, no, I'm going to spend the six on the outside and the eight on the inside. So we're going to roll dice. So we roll a dice for every barrage point. Um, and we'll start because it's um, uh, if it's adjacent to friendly control of four, five or a six hits. Well, this is a friendly controlled zone of my own so 
a four, five, or six with six dice. One, two, three, four, five, six on the outside. Four, five, or six is a hit. And rather disappointingly, no, I rolled seven dice. Well, I'm only going to, that was my fault, but they were all misses except for two of them. So I'm going to give myself that. Sorry, that was my mistake. I had a very good start. Uh, that's two hits, but I get a third roll because of the six. So I get an extra roll for every six. Oh, dear. That's another six. So let's keep going. So now the hits, then that's a two. So three hits against um, this hex. Now the hits are absorbed. First of all, the trench takes one, absorbs one. Then exhausting a fresh unit is one hit. And then you need two hits to eliminate um, an exhausted unit. So I can't do that because I've only got one hit there. So we now move on to the assault. Um, those these take place uh, simultaneously. Um, the attacker causes one fresh. Uh, each fresh unit causes one hit, so that's going to be three hits. Um, um, the trench absorbs one, and then that requires two, so that is going to be eliminated. In return, a defender causes. Um, um, let me just work this out. A defender, a fresh defender causes three hits and an exhausted one causes one hit. So because that was exhausted, the uh, single German unit takes one hit there. That unit is destroyed. French morale drops by one. So for every unit you lose, you drop a morale. So the French morale on the morale track, I'm not sure you're going to be able to quite see it, has dropped from 10 to 9. Um, it's just off uh, this side of the uh, of the map. So the Germans have moved in. That's trench is removed. We'll mark it with a, just to show that that is now a German friendly unit. So we now move on to the second card, the eight. So I'm going to roll eight dice. I'm going to make sure I've got the correct number of dice this time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight. Again, four, five, and six. And that has resulted in, well, that's more powerful. One, two, three, four, five hits. Two more of them to be rolled. So one, two, three, four, five, two sixes allows me to roll an additional two. And there's another six, so we go for another roll. Another six, wow. I don't think there's much doubt. And a four, so a total of eight hits. Well, the trench absorbs one, um, but no question there that the French are comprehensively destroyed by that. Their morale drops for a second time. The only way of, remove, of in, increasing morale is to bring troops onto the board. Uh, there's quite a nice circular thing here is of course that uh, you raise your morale by bringing troops onto the board but uh, and it's important that you do raise your morale because otherwise once you drop to three or lower you're severely hampered from doing anything. Uh, the problem is that to bring troops onto the board of course costs you victory points um, so there's a, a, a problem there. So that is the end of the Germans first card a successful assault that has seen them puncture the German, uh, the French flank uh, with very little cost to the Germans, we'll mark that, um, and we'll see how the French respond. The French are going to play in response the Castelnau card, uh, which uh, states that when the event is played, uh, Le Francais gagne un mouvement, the French gain a strategic movement for free. So normally that would cost one point. 
that is also a fixed permanent card and as you can see maybe up here it says combo voisage that will allow the playing of another card french card a powerful french card um, which can't be played until Castanau is played so as part of uh, that strategic movement that allows me to bring three units either from a supplied friendly and contested zone or from the reserve to another uh, friendly and contested zone I'm going to bring them in strategic movement any zone of mine from that is uh, uncontested and friendly I'm going to bring them straight into the Fort de Douaumont um, which has both uh, a fortress and a hill um, well defended So the Germans are now up for their second round. Um, just before I move on, I should have uh, remembered that uh, when the French brought their pieces in from reserve of our strategic movement, that bumped up their morale one point for each of those units. So their morale is back up to 10. Um, anyway, on with the Germans again. They are going to do another double barrage, two sixes against two areas and again with an assault. Um, now in this instance we're going to come through here, that's up against a hill and we're going to come through here. Um, so six twice, now this is a hill so it's going to uh, uh, be a little bit trickier when we come to the, let's get the uh, dice tower. So we'll start with the one on the left six dice that's against uh, Beaumont it looks like um, and the hill in Beaumont so six dice one two three four five six needing a four five or six to hit that gives us one two three hits with a re-roll for that six let's try that re-roll no so just three hits so trench absorbs one, oh, that stays rather different. Exhausts for the second, but that's not enough to uh, destroy that exhausted unit. So now we come to the assault. The three German units will cause three damage. That will absorb one. Those, the final two will uh, destroy the exhausted French unit. In return the exhausted unit causes one hit to the Germans and the hill, because we're on the hill, causes a second hit to the Germans. Um, so that's going to be, that's destroyed, that loses again, the French morale goes down by one, the trench comes off, the Germans have taken this, but in the process, two units are exhausted. Um, now we move to the second, into zone 15. The woods here, there's no hill, so again, six dice for the six strength barrage. Uh, not so good, that's three hits, but no sixes, so no re-rolls. So again, exhausted. That absorbs one. Again, not enough to destroy it, but we're going to be in the same position where these three inflict three hits. So again, that absorbs one. That will be destroyed and in return does one point of damage and one exhausted German. Another morale drop. That is removed. We'll just mark these two spaces to remind ourselves that these are now German friendly. Just tidy everything up. Back to the French. The French have a really poor hand actually, um, a hand of cards. They've drawn very badly, so uh, all we can play is the Rien à signaler. Nothing to signal, uh, and all I can do there is use the two action points. So, 
for the first action point I am going to reinforce by bringing in I need more troops so I'm going to bring in three troops into the on route area they'll move up into the reserve at the end of my round um, that's going to give the Germans three victory points so they move up to three uh, towards their total of 20 so that's one of my action points used for my second I'm going to build a trench and I'm doubling down on the defences in Douaumont. I'm going to need those points. I'm desperate to hold on to that area as the French uh, at the end of this turn. So the Germans now for their third card are going just to come off the barrage uh, approach for a moment. They're going to play a four barrage card but they're going to play it for the uh, it's quite a weak barrage card, but they're going to play it for the two action points. Uh, with the first action point, uh, they're going to do a strategic movement with these three units that are going to move into Goat 378 here. One, two, three, closing in on Douaumont. And they're going to stop there. Again, that's uh, German friendly. And then for their second action point, another tactical movement they're going to move these guys in here so Dormont is now under pressure now there is I think a certain risk here because these guys are not in trenches and we'll see whether the French can hit back at them but notice now that this French unit is out of supply there is no route back to its edge of the map uh, passing through friendly zones it is entirely surrounded right so we're back to the French uh, just before I do I forgot that um, when they played uh, an action point to place a trench in their last turn um, I only played one trench actually for each action point you spend you can place two trenches um, uh, which was uh, my, my, my mistake, so two trenches in uncontested friendly zones, both of those friendly, both uncontested. Now, no one in there for the time being, but at least we built the trench should I manage to uh, um, fill it. And so I've got the option now, do I bring the troops in now? Well, I think I will do. So again, I'm going to play one of my weak Rihanna Signale um, cards that gives me two action points and so for that the first uh, of those strategic movement brings these three straight away one two three to shore up that line um, and then with the second action point not quite sure um, Whether I, I mean, I can do it. I mean, this piece. Oh, that's another point. I need to actually. This this piece here is out of supply, so uh, not a lot I can do with that. Can't move. Can't attack. Um, question is, uh, you know, do I? Seed the ground here perhaps just to move back here though I don't think so so actually I think probably all I'm going to do is I'm just going to play for the sake of it a trench in case I do find myself stepping back and retreating I'm going to place a trench here uh, just to see if producing a defensive line in case in fact there's an argument for it. what I'm going to do is that strategic movement um, places one of my pieces here so two of them went there one here and then with the second action point the trench in there so a sort of ring building around um, uh, Fort de Douaumont 
Now the Germans uh, are back up and uh, it's time I think to um, launch a bit of an assault uh, on the Fort de Duamont. Now up to now I've been doing assault which is a barrage followed by the uh, infantry going in but uh, that was against zones where there was only one defending unit. Here there are three, they're in a fort, they're on a hill, uh, that is uh, quite a risk because every once you've done the barrage and you then move in to do an assault, every fresh um, defender causes three points of damage. Exhausted ones cause one. Uh, so if you don't take, if you don't take them out completely, you can um, really um, sustain a lot of damage yourself, and 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 and, and uh, your uh, your advance can come to sort of shattering halt. So I think I'm going to soften up the fort initially as the Germans. I'm going to do that with these two barrage cards against a single zone. Um, so that's 12. Uh, the French have the option to counter barrage, and I think they will. They're going to counter barrage with a three. So that gives a total of nine dice, um, but there's no following um, assault. So uh, it's... Uh, Nine dice, um, have we got nine there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four fives and sixes, again, as before, do the damage. So what have we got there? We have got, well, that's quite a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus a re-roll. Oh, do you know what? I rolled 10. <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna do, to be fair, I'm going to take that out. Um, that was my mistake. I keep doing that. Reroll, re -roll. no. So a total of seven hits. Um, so seven hits. The the uh, trench takes one. The fort takes two. That's going to leave four. So we're going to go one, two, three, and then uh, no further no further hits because uh, the fourth gets uh, th that doesn't do enough to remove one of those uh, and uh, that defense is now significantly softened up had i done an assault at this point um i the germans would have inflicted two hits which would have removed one these would have inflicted three which would have which would have reduced both of these to um uh, exhausted and i think yeah, I think actually that was probably uh, that was probably the right move, uh, and so that's the end of the Germans' turn. So uh, the French now uh, are simply going to repair themselves. They're going to play again a small rien à signaler card two action points. Uh, for one of those they can in an uncontested um, area refresh two units for one point so those two are going to be refreshed and then I think probably for the uh, second action point they might as well refresh this one and they are back up to full strength uh, and there for all the pounding of the German guns, it just shows how difficult it is to dislodge uh, a well entrenched force that is in a fort. What can the Germans do to swing it back their way? Right, I think it's perhaps uh, a bit of a lost cause, Dumont, so I think the Germans are going to just change the angle of attack slightly they're going to play a six barrage and they're going to assault with these three here uh, this area here cut three three five the smaller uh, hamlet of uh, Oumont so that's uh, six dice um, it's a hill, so the assault will face an extra hit because of the hill. Um, 
partly I just don't want to leave it so that the French could just sneakily march in here um, and um, um, capture these two victory points if I just you know if I uh, sort of headed off in this direction for example or, or, or did something I just don't want to you know leave myself open before that actually I've just forgotten this this unit that is out of supply now goes up to level two out of supply that's now exhausted uh, and uh, at the start of next turn is going to vanish altogether but anyway let's come back to the action here so an assault first of all we get the six let me get the dice right this time one two three four five six dice and then there um four fives or sixes now that's pretty good actually that's five hits with two sixes so those two sixes get re-rolled but another six we'll see no, that's okay another six would have resulted in a friendly fire but as it is six hits trench absorbs one two three four so actually without the need for the assault um, the Germans have captured uh, that area um, and it allows perhaps just to push on this side and just give the uh, if we can move quickly enough give the French something else to think about so uh, back to the French first just a little bit of housekeeping um, just to say that the French lost a point of uh, morale for the loss of that uh, 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 unit in the attack on uh, this zone here so they're down to nine uh, the start of their turn this unit that is out of supply uh, for the third time now is removed so that's another loss of supply down to eight now I've got a kind of interesting uh, uh, dilemma here the French have got two cards left they're both barrage cards uh, the Germans have got two cards left so they will play last uh, in this uh, month I'm tempted to place these down as a joint barrage against one of these two German zones here and then see whether the Germans decide to burn one of their two remaining cards to counter barrage now they may choose not to and then keep two cards in hand and give themselves two consecutive turns or they may consider that really quite a risk to al allow a seven dice assault against for example either of these two zones without a trench no protection from a fort so uh, I mean alternatively I could use these cards for the you know for one separate assault uh, once each turn and, and leaves me the chance to react to what the Germans do um, or to use the action points perhaps draw up more troops from the front uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I think that the French feeling like this has been quite a good turn for them um, I think they're confident of holding on to do them all they're not going to lose too many more points so I'm going to try that. I'm going to put down a double barrage against uh, this zone here where there's already one weakened unit. So we could really um, push back uh, the German assault on this left flank. So the question now is do the Germans suck that up? Take seven. I mean, if it was like four hits, one, two. You know, it wouldn't be catastrophic. Um, how brave are the Germans feeling? Um, are they prepared to leave their troops out there and then give themselves two unanswered, two unanswered goes at the uh, at the Germans uh, at the French? Um, they are. Now that's I don't know. I, I as I say, I'm playing this for the first time, so I really don't know uh, tactically how how sensible these moves are. So the Germans face seven French dice, um, four, five or six. It's not an assault, it's just an, a barrage. The, 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 the French are not going to go in to attempt to capture that ground, are they? No, I don't think they are. I think they're just, they're, they're prepared to play this defensively. So, Germans, do they counter barrage? Or do they 
I mean, if they, they don't, then, you know, the, the, the game could be kind of, you know, if they, if they lose troops at this point, they really could find themselves. Yeah, the Germans change of mind. They're going to take that. So it's only going to be three dice. So the, the French have called the Germans bluff and, and uh, three dice. There's one six. So one re-roll and a five. So two hits. So it weakens these two. One two um, but it's burned through these or well, the penultimate German card it certainly softened up the Germans at the front there um, and well they have uh, their final card which again is a final chaos a la um, now they could play that actually no it's only actually no no it's going to it's it can only be used in turn one so even though it's a fixed event uh, it will be removed from the game at the end of this turn so they're going to use it for the three action points and those three action points they can't barrage with it they could march on with it so how about let's okay we're going to use one point uh, to refresh two units, so two units in an uncontested zone. So one point refreshes those two. That's one dice so to show one point you have action point used. Um, and then they're going to go with a bit of a tactical movement to see whether they can. The French can't, you know, they, if they vacate this area, the French aren't going to come sweeping in because the French haven't got any cards left. So, first tactical point. Um, uh, tactical movement, one to three units from anywhere to an adjacent zone. A unit once per round. If from contested, not to, uncontest, uh, not to an uncontested enemy. If from an uncontested friendly to any contested, then they can move again to another uncontested. So these are going to move. One, two, three. I, I'm going to keep them as a three. They've moved from a uncontested friendly to an uncontested, so they can move for a second time. So they're going to move forward a final time. So that's two action points. And then finally, for their third action point, I think... They are going to um, get themselves up to full strength by refreshing these two. So we end turn one, the one month turn one. It's the end of February. So at the end of a turn, we score points. Uh, the Germans have captured no red port zones so they score no points uh, the only points scored are for the French for holding on to Douaumont so they scored three points and that uh, it's, it's off the map uh, gets them to back to zero so we are in exactly the same position points wise um, the French morale is at eight German morale is still at ten um, the Germans got themselves largely back up to full strength. They have pushed on, but they haven't captured any ground, and I, I can't be, uh, uh, I, I can't quite see how they. You well, know, they, 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 you know, they, depending, they, they, they can still get their points. Uh, they've clearly pushed uh, forward uh, on the uh, uh, left side of the Meuse, uh, but absolutely no movement on uh, this side of the map, uh, where the thin blue line is holding. Um, and you know, there's a question: Would 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 I, as the Germans, have been better off pushing in this direction? Um, well, uh, further plays uh, will decide that. Um, and uh, already, I'm it, 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 I'm you know just beginning to see what a fascinating game this is, and and the options uh, for uh, exploration. Um, so uh, we are level pegging at the end of the first month, uh, and. Uh, well, we'll see whether uh, things progress as we move into March.